All right, so round three, Segura versus Ikens. And this tournament going on pretty well. So yeah, Segura and Ikens are about middling at this point. But like we have... Yeah, Segura actually managing to beat Orphelius, which is surprising. I just can't believe that. Like, I really want to see how... They, that's why I want to see how they play, because... Well, maybe Orphelius just gave start. up too soon again. Maybe he tends to do that. Point. Yeah, he's like me that way. Anyway, Ikens hasn't really picked anything yet. So you get her going for Cloaky Bot Factory. I mean, this map, anything's a solid choice. Everything's a solid choice. So long as you know how to play the factory, this map well, is flexible. I really dislike vehicles here. Okay, that's true. You can actually very easily block vehicles with, ter with terraforming. Yeah, and moving up with your scorches on those ramps, and then there's an LT, and then. <laughs> okay, so everything but vehicles work well on this map. <laughs> vehicles work okay for the low ground, though. But yeah, other than that, it's a bit annoying. If you wanted to make that work, I think you'll just have to wait until you're, you start playing for the third set of maxes, and then you can start using your vehicles, not before. Don't attack up to that point. That would be my strategy with vehicles. That makes sense. I mean, I guess if you have enough Ravagers, you could probably push in, but then the problem is still terraforming. It just gets in your way. Yeah. All right. Good points. Is Icons going to start up here? And the silly uh, Stardust. Yeah. Oh, man. The stuff you can do. Newtons on the ramp. That's always fun. <laughs> That's actually been a thing. I actually. There's an image I have from a couple, from a year or so ago of a Newton shooting one of Morocco's away as Morocco fired the rocket to kill the Newton. <laughs> it's one of the stream intermission images. I've been using it for a long time now because it's such a cool image. And Icons starting out, nothing Not so popping. far. Together going for a Cloaky Butt Factory, but Icons with no... Okay, there we go. Amphib. 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 Uh, is he going Actually, to troll or play a good game? No, are you kidding? Amphib on this map? If you're expecting your opponent to go for a Cloaky Butt Factory, that's a really good choice. I mean, you can use it to build turrets in your opponent's base through the the, the, the water ring of the map. Move. I guess if you terraform down. That's not going to happen, though. What's most likely happening is that they're going for Amphib because of ducks. Okay, ducks, oh yeah, of course. Ducks they are deal with Yeah, they deal with Glaze no problem, so that's going to be the thing. Like the hard counter, so they... Yeah. Ooh, that can be battle. one hell of a glaive, jeez. <laughs> Hero glaive! Oh, oh, and that's not a jumping commander. <laughs> no, unfortunately that glaive is not moving as much as it needs to. Get out of there, glaive! We're through, yes. there we go. Now it's moving as much as it needs to. There's the duck. Sigro might uh, win this uh, game with the first Holy glaive. Holy crap! My goodness, that harassment! And got rid of the worker too, that's even more important. Getting rid of metal extractors is all well and good, but... That conch is dead too, so the entire south side is going to be delayed by a minute and a half. On top of the main base being delayed by a minute and a half. But now, um... Sigero just needs to build up themselves. That's all they need to do. Sigero builds a, uh... Sith? Scythe? Which yeah. doesn't really work... If your opponent hasn't expanded yet. <laughs> or when you just destroyed all his expansions. Unfortunately, that next glaive thing is a bit inefficient. Sigero needs to stop building anything except for metal extractors. They just need to focus on their economy, get themselves built up, build another worker. Oh, yeah, they do have a conjurer coming up. Good. They need that. Get a conjurer, start the building is, up the southern expansion. Or despite lower expansion. everything, uh, and at the super rate, they're not that far apart, positionally and economically. Well, no, because Sigero essentially used that super rate to make up for their lack of expansion right off the bat. Like... Yeah, Together went for heavy energy. It, if, he, if he wouldn't have made that Sith and would have uh, focused on uh, a constructor and prioritized his commander, then he would have had claimed his entire base and be already expanding to that lower, the lower free maxes. Yeah, hey, that's the thing is they. <laughs> Iken's base was delayed by a minute and a half, but Sigero's base was also delayed by a minute and a half thanks to that scythe coming out, which is doing nothing. And also and the, now the commander, commander is stuck. Not stuck, but it's not doing anything. So yeah, so get But he couldn't, uh, he couldn't have anticipated such a successful raid. <laughs> True, but even not anticipating that, that's the thing. You can't anticipate that, which means that you should be expanding. Like, Sigero is only yeah. in the position they are now because that raid was so successful. 
Yeah. Like the rest of their play, their their no, economic play so far has been very weak, unfortunately, because that that one raid, that's why they're in the game right now. Which kind of sucks because that raid should have given them a massive advantage, not put them on par. Because man, that was a really powerful raid. And now Iken's coming in with a counter raid with five ducks and no defenses. Siguero completely open for this. There is nothing here to stop it at all. There's a couple sides being built up. I don't know why. In all honesty, I mean, yeah, sides get through ducks sort of, but nah, you're fighting an alpha war against a duck. Also, uh, that's a level two commander. Oh yeah, what does it got? Uh, just beam laser. Still. The problem though is side or ducks in the t north side of the map. Sigero, I think, has lost this. I mean, here we thought Sigero had it, but it's just Sigero hadn't Can expanded properly. Can you be the commander with two sides uh, with a beam laser? Because there are no turrets yet. He could jump on that commander with two sides. I we will see. So, oh yeah, that'll work. It will work. Two more hits. Oh, one more hit. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> go, there we go. And it lives. Like, oh wow! Really? Life survive. Holy yeah. crap! That's a good. Sh that was a good save. Good trade. So Sigero, I mean Sigero is going for pretty good harassment. It's just that it's just making sure that the harassment gets followed up on. And that's the thing is that harassment was basically making up for harassment from Ikens. Although Ikens now once again an economic. Well, now once again, now oh, at wow. an economic advantage for the first time this game. Zeus coming in. Ooh, oh come on! Those ducks are just silly. Good tank, but. Sheesh, that is not going to work. I mean, the thing is, warriors aren't bad against ducks if you have enough of them. You need about three or four warriors to really make it work to get through the alpha. But once you have that, ducks will melt. But I think Sigero is either too worried about losing them to just the alpha, or... No, I think that must be it. They're worried about the alpha. That's why Zeus. I mean, there's enough Zeus it'll kind of work, but eh, I don't know. The problem now is that Ikens has everything. Ikens has the map. Like, Sigero's contained. They can't expand right now. They have to get rid of these ducks in order to expand. And Ikens, the only thing they don't have right now is a huge amount of build power up the front. That's all they need. And once they get enough metal, it'll be fine. Ah, so he lost his, lost his commander, huh? So he has to make up for the... with those free mexes. Yeah. Tigero has better income. He's, his army is growing faster at this moment. It is, which is exactly what they need because that's all they have. They need to break through this duck. If they can break out of this contain within the next 20 seconds or so, I think Sigero still has a chance. But Ikens will be retaking everything in about that, that much time, about 20 seconds. And then on after mm -hmm. that, then Ikens will be starting to reclaim the commander and reclaim all the size. And once that happens, Ikens is going to have a solid advantage. And it looks like the contain has yeah. been broken in time, so Sigero should be able to get out of here. Icons just now Sigero is ahead in every way, army-wise, more turrets, more income, more energy. Right now, yes. But Icons is getting their energy up, and they're going to get a reclaim very shortly of this commander. Like 400 metal, oh, it's 1,000 metal? Uh, yeah, 800 metal, free reclaim. So what do you do against ducks? You spam Rokos? Rokos aren't bad. Warriors are surprisingly good if you have enough of them. You need numbers. It's it's Duck Blade versus Roku. There, it's uh, ninety and eighty metal, so it's very similar. Yeah, Duck and Roku are okay. one to one. The problem is that yeah. ducks are faster, uh -huh. and while the range is considerably lower, ducks can just dodge. They can dodge the rockers much more easily and then catch up to them. Warriors, on the other hand, while warriors are also slow, if you have enough warriors to survive the duck alpha, the ducks have nothing and will die. And if you have Zeus and Warrior combined, that's actually not a bad idea, because the Zeus can tank the Alpha, and then the Warriors can deal the damage. But it doesn't look like Sigero's going to go for that. They appear to be going for Rocco's lightly, but mostly Zeus. But yeah, it's a bit of a tricky setup. The problem with doing it with Zeus is that the Amphi player can just add in boys, and once that happens, the Amphi player has the advantage. Because the counter for boys would be Glaives, but the Glaives are going to be wrecked by Ducks. But at this point, it's almost irrelevant. The Zeus is actually doing a pretty good job dealing with all the ducks. Winning the Alpha War. I mean, like I said, Zeus can tank it. Nicely done, Sigero. So Icons, that's however... a trait of... How many ducks? 
eight, nine? That was ten. Or ten ducks for two Zeus's. Yeah. That but was it's about even. Yeah, that's what I mean. Zeus aren't bad, it's just that it's not a great trade. But warriors would warriors would keep it a very even trade, and the Zeus can still survive and keep going. It's just that the boys are going to be a problem. If I was uh, Sigero now, I would have start spamming glaives and attack with the Zeus's and re keep reinforcing with glaives. I think you can overrun any position at this point in the game with such an army. Especially yeah. when you also have your commander near your Zeus's. I mean, that that's a like plan, though. He wants to play it slow with uh, RT. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I really agree with you on this one. Like, just push in and find the weaknesses, especially now that the boys are up. I don't see Sigeto going for any glaze. Sigeto does have the economic advantage, though. They have the reclaim. I mean, Ikens and Sigeto both with reclaim, but Ikens, their reclaim is not actually working for them as well as Sigeto's is. Sigeto out of reclaim, though. Ikens still has some reclaim. They still have another 400 or so metal reclaim. So it's going to be another good 50 seconds that Ikens is going to have a slight economic advantage. But at this point, Sigero, they broke the contain. That's the important thing. The contain is broken, and now Sigero can just expand. And they've already taken the center. They just need to take that lower expansion and probably one of the plateau expansions to the west or east. Once that's done, that should be it. Icons should be able to just... Icons will probably have a hard time getting out of that. I think you need more defenders in this situation. Icons or Sigero? Sigero. Yeah. He will, he, will not, he will never cross that area. With the units, yes. Because of this. Yeah, see, the thing I noticed about Sigero's play is that Sigero seems to be trying to win basically by using the exact same class as his opponent, or their opponent. Like, boy, ver uh, Rocco versus Boy, for instance. I mean, the Duck versus Zeus is not so much the same class, but it's kind of the same general idea. Single target damage. Well, Ducks have a bit of splash, but mainly single target damage that's high alpha but low reload time. And then in this case, it's two, skirm or two skirmisher balls going up against each other. And it's just, why are you not going for the counter? Like, go for the glaive. I realize glaive is against duck. That's kind of scary, but do you see any ducks? I don't see any ducks. There's no ducks. There's a couple ducks, but there aren't very many ducks. A handful of glaives would wipe out these forces. However, Sigero... He's now moving Zeus's to the right side. Yeah, that's the strategy. Rocco's are there to stalemate out the boys, although it's not going to last long. Yeah, rocks no, there with stalemate. He, Glaives are coming in. Metal. There we go. Sorry, you were saying? I say he's just bleeding metal there. It's there's no point in that fight. To that fight. And I don't know. See, the, the point I see of that fight is Sigero's going off with the Zeus's to the side. So Ikins has focused all their forces onto these, or a lot of their attention onto those boys. And now there's Zeus is going off to the side, wiping out an expansion that basically is undefended from the point of view of the Zeus. Like there's not enough defenses there to really matter. And, I mean, the only problem is that now Sigero's line is broken. There are some defenders, but it's not much. The Glaives, able to help out. Glaives and defenders, able to work a bit. But Zeus but is doing nothing. Uh, it's broken. Mm -hmm. But Zeus is not doing anything. It wasn't shooting. It was just looking at the turret, but not shooting. Oh, well. Bug. That's <laughs> unfortunate, but regardless, the southeast side it's has been broken. It's of Zeus's anyway. <laughs> Yeah, the southeast side is still broken. The boy line, not very strong. And the glaive's coming in to wipe it out. There's nothing really to follow uh, it up. So the boys are actually falling down. Sigero just needs to make sure that they're actually using all their economy. Get another caretaker or two. Once that's done, they should be fine. Zeus. Yeah, the Zeus have done all the damage they need to do. Taking the southeast... Well, not even all of it needs to do. No, reclaim keep time. And then yeah. a time. More mucho and nano turret time. Yeah, put them on the front lines. Like, and get at your that. factory. Oh come on, there's four conjurers here. That's twenty build power. Twenty build. Oops, twenty build power dealing with two thousand metal reclaim. Come on, that's that is a minute and a half of an extra of doubling your metal income or just about doubling your metal income. The Zeus's are trying to skirmish, uh, dodge the <laughs> dodge the boys. Doesn't yeah, really matter that the silly. glaives have pushed them away. The glaives no, are dealing with them, the Zeus are coming in. Sigero's still holding on. I mean, they're doing a really good job here. This is, is I mean. Me? Sorry? Is it me or are glaives 
uh, torso turn rate has it changed? Because they're not shooting a lot of the time. Because they have no. to re-aim their torso. I don't think so. Huh. No, I don't I don't recall seeing any changes in the change logs about that. Okay. Wow. Wow. Boys not even of, coming uh, in. And now there are a lot of uh, RT, RT units. Yeah. And that was a lot of damage to Yoto dealt. Icons at half metal. Time for effect switch. I can yeah. see shield bots and the other Sigero doesn't have a switch yet. No, Sigero still still needs a few more caretakers, honestly. I get a few more caretakers and start reclaiming like mad. Just take all this metal. Iken certainly is. Oh my goodness, Iken's economy is pretty much being floated by this conch. If it's not for that conch, Iken's has like a quarter of Zagero's income. And even with the conch, only has half. But yeah, if that conch goes down, Ikens is going to throw the game. I think Ikens will throw in the towel if that conch dies. <laughs> yeah. Heck, even just being forced back like that is a big blow. That's enough. At this point, Sigero can just build up an army. Like, give it a couple minutes, Sigero will wow. build up an army and just crush. Geothermal time. Indeed. Geothermal being built up. Center east been taken by Sigero, and it looks like the center itself... Oh man, this is all going down. I really like how he's rescouting with a glaive the area he just uh, destroyed with the Zeus's. Yeah, people do that more. Like, that's, please. That's a good move. That is a really good move. Like, props to Zigero. That's like you want to make sure you know what your opponent's up to all the time. Especially if you're just broken there, you don't know if they're going to rebuild. People rebuild all the time. You're supposed to rebuild. That's how this game works. You lose stuff and you rebuild yeah. it. Yeah, and you want to know when. Yeah. Good move. And another glaive coming over here just to see what's up. See exactly what's being built. <laughs> He's giving information to the uh, Mortis. Well, that's the glaive. There's an LT here. Shoot. <laughs> please. Yeah. Shoot. Please. I'm going to die. <laughs> I give my life for the artillery. And the artillery killed the Lotus, and it all works out. But yeah, that glaive. Nice. That glaive over there. This scouting glaives. I mean, at this stage in the game, losing a glaive or two is no big deal, but the information is priceless. The information will win you the game. Often it does, yeah. So yeah, Rakter's coming in here. That fax, which certainly got built up pretty quick. Thug Law Ball with Rakteers. Uh, Getting together. Is, is it still so that all the paralyzed damage counts as real damage on shield? It's not all of it. It's like a third of it counts as real damage. Okay. So like, the lightning gun deals 500 paralyzed damage. It deals like actually like 175 to the shield. I think that's okay. how it works. But it still EMPs them. Hmm. And just, it's still damage. I mean, that, that gun still deals real damage. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Yeah, not to mention Good the game. artillery. Yeah, Sigurdo uh, played well. He also oh, did man. not... I am thoroughly impressed with... I mean, Sigurdo's expansion needs work. Like, that is their big weakness, is early expansion. But, man, they made they more than made up for that with raiding. Holy crap. Like, they certainly took yeah, the heart. He, he took initiative, and he took some risks by moving a slow army to uh, the side of the map. But it worked yeah, out nicely. I mean, that's yeah. the thing, is that Sigero seems to be taking seriously the advice to make sure your opponent's economy grows slower than yours. A bit too much to heart, honestly. They really do need to build up their own economy as well, but still... It's good on them that they are being as aggressive as they are in this game, because that worked out very well. But that is going to be the weakness. If they fight somebody who's able to defend that early rating better, they're going to crumple, because they had nothing behind it. Like, that, oh, was, that was total cheese. He, I'll never learn to deal with pork, is what Icon says. <laughs> I think uh, he was doing pretty... Uh, he wasn't facing that much pork. Only one HLT. Yeah, I don't know. A couple defenders. It wasn't that that bad, actually. But still, well, was a good game by Ikens. Uh, he recovered. I think that the choice for Mphips was maybe maybe he could have. Um, yeah, he lost his commander, so he just did not have the income to really start building one of those big laser 
Oh, Robo the Grizzlies? Yeah. Yeah, the Grizzly, yeah. Yeah, that, the early harassment really put a dent in the power of the Amphid strategy. Like, quite honestly, that was... That was probably the Maybe biggest Maybe that switch to um, the shield bots, if he, that would have been a Grizzly. I think he would have been better off with a Grizzly instead of two Racketeers, a couple shield units. Uh, maybe. The problem there is that the Rockers were already built. So the Counterforce was kind of already in place. Oh, like, well, if you're retreating, those Grizzlies are amazing. That's fair. Still, Sigeto okay. did play well. Who is... Indeed. No, is anyone... Oh, what? Is everyone done? No, 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 no. Done. Far from it. The... As Capricious and Veltas not even played yet? Because... Apparently? I don't know. I mean, no one's playing right now. And it looks like Kshatra and Spry are the only ones with reported scores. Oh, Capricious beat Velthas. That has been played. Clone apparently lost to Nemor. Not sure about Ophelius and Stuart 98. It looks like the once the scores get put in, yeah, we should be on to the next round. Already, wow. So, yeah, I think Stuart 98 and Arphilius are the only two that... So Yeah, they're just finishing up. Capricious beat failed us. Oh yeah, I see. So does that bring Capricious to number one? Yes. And failed us to number three. Spot yeah. number three. Nimor, spot four. Shared, uh, actually uh, shared second place with uh, two wins, one loss. Nice. Yeah, this is going well, and now Orph once Orphelius and Stuart 98 are done, that's on to round four. Alright, so we have... Well, I think I Veldas get... and Capricious is probably going to be... I really hope they both get in the top four, because at this point it looks like Veldas and Capricious are the two strongest players right now. With Kshatra also being strong, but it's just... Yeah, he had one weaker opponent earlier in the game. Yeah, earlier yeah. in the tournament, I think. But if I look at the the, the one win to loss block, I can Sklon and Sprang. I didn't expect that. I thought Klon and Icons to be higher up. Klon's rusty. And then we have Sprang is not doing much either. <laughs> yeah, Klon is rusty and Icons. Icons, I think, is playing to the, well a little bit. I'm a bit surprised they didn't do as well that game. Like, that was actually below their level. I mean, Ophelius, Sigeto played really well, but Icons I don't think played as well as Icons can play. Like, Icons is, is a good player that I think was either tired or went for a bad matchup. All right, we are to round four. So this is going to be... Sheesh, this is almost it, huh? Round four. So who are our... Players this round. You know, I haven't done clone or sprang yet. No, we so should let's uh, see clone versus sprang. Yeah. Two birds and with one stone, it's what they say, huh? And on what map are we on? We are on clone versus Alright, where are we? Desert Cliffs? Seriously? Ugh, I have to cast a clone game on Desert Cliffs? That's like the... that's a waste. That's a waste of a clone match. <laughs> I'm serious. Clone is a macro player. I'd love to see clone on like CCR or something. Like, and I don't like CCR very much. And they're going to play C uh, Comet Catcher? No, they're not. They're going to play on Desert Cliffs. Huh? If they were playing on Com Comet Catcher, I wouldn't be so annoyed. And that's um... coming from me. No, I have to... What does Desert Cliffs look like? Desert, Desert Cliffs is a tiny map. It's it's just... It's a tiny micro map. How do you write Desert Cliffs? Ah, like this. Yeah. Oh, that one. Okay, I remember. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, that's... I've seen Annihilators. 
on desert cliffs. Really? Yeah. Really? I think it was Gotti, the god of his clone in uh, one of those games. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Okay, well, I mean, sure, why not? Let's see what happens, but... Wow, really? It's just... Okay. <laughs> I have a hard time imagining that. Yeah, I must have thought it was Desert Plateaus. Yeah, Clone apparently thought it was Desert Plateaus. Well... Great. Man, I don't dislike Desert Cliffs entirely. It's just for watching Cloan play, you know. Oh well.